So I have decided it is time to go all out for my dream home. I'm talking bifolds, I'm talking aesthetic kitchens, I'm talking about big garden landscapes. And in order to do that, I need to think about how I can save and make more money. So I have decided to go on a low spend it year and start living more frugally. And I guess these can apply to you if you are also trying to pay off your debt and save more money and make more money. So today I'm going to give you 30 different ways that you can live more frugally. And honestly, at this point, it just needs to be done. Tip number one, get rid of phantom energy. And by that, I mean all the things that are plugged into your sockets that you may or may not use they are still consuming energy so plug them all out switch them off and plug them out your microwave your kettle your toaster your cooker anything that you don't use obviously don't do it with the fridge plug them out and you should see a difference in your bills in line with that the second one is turn off your lights every time you leave the room so i'm a big culprit i'll just leave lights on but actually just switch them off it doesn't make sense why would you have lights on if you're not in that room so turn it off save your change you remember when you were a kid and you would find like pennies and pounds everywhere and you just put them in a little jar do the same thing now do you know how many times that i'm sweeping up my room i'll find 20 p's i'll find like five p's i'll find two p's save them up and then just cash them in at one of those machines that collects your coins i did that last time and i actually managed to save 100 pounds so i'm gonna start doing that more often batch cook meals it makes so much sense that if you're in the kitchen you might as well cook up as many meals as you can and even if you're gonna cook one meal, cook one a little bit more so that you can have something for lunchtime the next day, saving you having to cook often, also to reduce the temptation of having to order out. The next thing is to start an emergency fund. How many times have we been caught out in your savings journey where something all of a sudden needs to be repaired and you don't have an emergency fund for it? I'm talking about washing machines starts to leak, car doesn't work and all of a sudden you need to have additional money just to fix that up so start an emergency fund that will cover you for all your emergency stay at home more so now because we have to just carry on the aspect of staying at home a lot more there's no need for you to be going out and spending money when it's not necessary and if you cannot stay at home look for free things to do so instead of going to a fancy restaurant or a fancy lunch or a fancy brunch why not just have a brunch at the park with your friends and your family and the kids will love it and the good thing is that you can stay there as long as you want number eight sell your clutter for example your old shoes that you don't think anybody would ever want did you know there was a market for that on ebay so start selling things that you no longer need any more if you are a family that has more than one car Try switching down to one car, especially now that a lot of people are not commuting as much. Try and save some money by switching down to one car. And if you cannot do that, then try and find a free way that to commute to your destination. So start commuting more by bike. Now, I've had a bike for a long time. I haven't ridden it for a long time. But I'm thinking about how much more I could save if I just commuted by bike. And the benefit is that I actually end up doing exercise. Try and drink alcohol in moderation. No one's saying that you can't have a good time. But what I'm saying is you don't need to be spending 25, 50 pounds on a cocktail or a bottle. Save yourself some money by buying your own bottle and with that drink more water it always amazes me how much i end up spending on like sugary drinks when actually i need to drink more water like one of my goals this year is to drink a lot more water the next one i absolutely love which is to batch your errands so if i know that today i need to do my post office my grocery shop anything else that i need to do i do it in one or two days during the week that saves me time as well. The next thing is make your own everything. Before you buy something, try and make it yourself. So I'm talking about reducing the amount of convenience foods 
that you will buy how easy is it to buy diced garlic when we know for a fact that buying fresh garlic and dicing it yourself at home is significantly cheaper so I'll put my hands up I'm going to start doing this as of today because a lot of my hauls have had minced garlic but I'm gonna make it for myself the next one is try and eat less meat shockingly meat is actually much much more expensive now i'm not saying that you should go vegetarian or vegan unless that is one of your goals then go for it but for me i don't know if i could be a vegetarian i think i'm gonna switch to maybe two or three times a week eating meat and then the rest i'm going to eat more veggie based foods and with that i would say set a food budget now it can be so easy and tempting to go to the supermarket and just pick up anything that you want and anything that you are feeling but if you have a food budget that you have to work with you'd be surprised how creative you can become with your meals and whilst you are at setting your food budget create a general household budget and adapt to it and let it be as flexible as you need it on month on month so if you know you are gonna allocate 60 pounds for your petrol and you end up spending 40 pounds because you've been cycling everywhere <laughs> then the 20 pounds you can easily put it in your savings towards whatever it is that you are working towards the next thing is to start sun drying your clothes more often we have free resources why am i wasting my money so i'm gonna start using the balcony to dry my clothes all the time especially now that the sun's out it's just wise to do so now one of the positive things that have come out of lockdown is a lot of people have learned to cut their hair and i think this is a trend that needs to keep going and if you make a mistake then go to the hairdresser but if you can maintain your hair at home you can save significant amounts now the next one i am gonna work so hard at doing which is practicing zero waste i'm gonna start making sure i finish everything before i repurchase it so shampoos food whatever it is clothes <laughs> i'm gonna try and work my hardest to make sure i am not wasting anything the next one is to minimize the use of paper towels and i've learned that i've sometimes even in the kitchen whenever i'm drying my hands i'll use a paper towel instead of a kitchen towel and I need to learn to stop doing that because each paper towel is has a cost to it and it has an impact on the environment. I'm gonna try and ditch using paper towels or minimize the amount of paper towels that I am using. I am gonna practice more of my no spend day. So currently I'm on one no spend day a week, but I think I am going to vamp it up to two no spend days a week it's literally transformed the way i think about money and the way that i spend money and for those who don't know a no spend day is literally a day where you spend nothing you're not allowed to use your credit cards you're not allowed to use your debit cards you're not allowed to even use cash you just have to make do with what it is so if you're staying at home it's a lot easier but if you're out and about you really have to practice self-control the next one that I, I'm also trying this because I've done quite a bit of decluttering, but it's to explore minimalism and just basically living off the exact amount you need. Not overbuying, not having too much, but just having the bare minimum that you need. Now, the next one I've talked about in a lot of my videos, which is make my own coffee at home. I'm gonna reduce the amount that I'm spending on buying coffee. I have coffee at home and I've got a little tumbler that I can carry my coffee in. So I'm I'm gonna start making more coffee at home and not buying from outside i have also started practicing to look at my bank account every day to remind myself of how much i have in there but also to continuously monitor my spending so i think i'm moving more towards doing it every day i've been doing it every maybe three days um, but now i'm gonna start moving towards once every single day the next one is ditch the gym. I have learned to do frugal exercising, which means using all the free areas around me to exercise. I'm talking about parks, I'm talking about skipping, I'm talking about running, I'm talking about going for walks. These have actually made a huge difference to me. And I'm starting to see a shift in my weight without necessarily having to be in a gym. So I like that. The next one is something that I'm, I think I'm gonna struggle with the most, which is to look for used items first. 
So, whenever I have something in the house that needs replacing, I never ever consider looking for something that is used before I buy a new one. I've seen so many people on YouTube get used stuff for free or for a very low price and transform it for a small cost. Another one for the kitchen is to always try and buy dried food in bulk. For example, you can buy chickpeas, you can buy beans, you can buy lentils, and you can get them more in bulk and they can be used over time saving you a significant amount and of course if you are somebody who loves going out all the time switch to entertaining at home it's amazing how much fun you can actually have just by being the host and you can have a get together where you host people at home for a fraction of the price and the good thing is that you can actually do it so that everybody brings a dish or brings a drink and you can still have a great time and the bonus thing is that you set how long people stay there for so try and do more things at home and don't buy fancy groceries now there are lots of videos on youtube showing people who have switched from fancy supermarkets to cheaper alternatives like Lidl and Aldi but shocked at the quality that they're getting so i would recommend try and switch out from the fancy groceries to a cheaper alternative like Lidl or Aldi because I found that has saved me a significant amount. Let me know in the comments below which one is cheaper, Aldi or Lidl? Hmm. What are you doing to live a more frugal life? Is frugality for you or is it not? Let me know in the comments below. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe. And until the next video, thank you so much for all your support. Take care. Bye. Mwah.